Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daily Dan Blog. Well, last night was the most interesting night. For hours and hours, the wolves howled in the night. It was nerve-wracking. As I was up really late, like 2 o'clock in the morning, listening to the wolves howl. I made several videos. I'm sure some of which are already up by the time you're seeing this. Oh, and on one of the videos, the one where the plane flies over, off right over yonder in the distance, I could see a blurry shape. I came out real early this morning, grabbed a weed eater, weed eater around the edges. It was a little high back here, and I wanted to be sure that I could walk over without getting all tangled up in the weeds to show you the spot right over there where something was standing. I'm sure people were wondering what it looks like at daytime. Off in the distance, you can see a wall belonging to my Mexican neighbors. There's a house or two up that way, but the people there died with the COVID, and they are empty. As you can see in one of my videos where a creature looks over the wall, people wondered in the comments below why nobody in the house has saw nothing. Well, they're dead. They died with some kind of virus. Just for the people out there to know. I really hate that video, by the way. Because I just got a new phone that day, and I did not know how to work the zoom in. And people said that I should have zoomed in, I should have zoomed in. Well, I didn't know how I just got the phone that day. As a matter of fact, I was playing with it when the event happened. And it was the actual first video I shot on a new phone. Well, anyway, that's the spot over there. And what I'm going to do is walk around my little old building over here and come in from the other side and go over there and have a look and see if anything left any marks. I'm sure this investigation will be interesting. It's been a long time since anything's been in my backyard. And it's been, I know, eight months since I made videos out here where anything was going on. And I'm so happy that something finally happened out here again. Because I've said before, a Bigfoot or a wolf man, a dog man, whatever you want to call it, visits my backyard once in a while. Used to steal my trash. You should watch the videos here on the Daily Dan blog. Hold on for one minute, YouTube. So here I am on the other side, YouTube. Right there is my trash, and if you can watch them videos from last year, you'll see that something that took the trash and the great big giant footprints out here, which started a Bigfoot odyssey for me, because it was so easy when Bigfoot come right to your backyard. If you even make one little track right in here, see, it shows up really easy. I can tell there's been nothing through here because there's no track, even though that is a scuff mark right there. Huh, that's strange looking, but it, I, don't, I don't think that was nothing more than a squirrel. <clears throat> As I stopped the ground, even though I know it was over that way where whatever it was was standing, it's good to check around and see if there's any marks or tracks of anything coming up this far, which I really see nothing. Let me know in the comments below if you think I missed something, YouTube. Last night got my nerves racked so bad, I should have brought a weapon with me, but I'm not going out of sight of the house. That does look like something right here. Well, it's just a dry spot where the leaves are gone, but there's definitely some rustling over here in the leaves. You can tell right through there where something has rustled. That almost looks like a, a track with a stride right here. See, there's one like a footprint here, and if you look real close, you can see like an outline. And then there's another one over here. I'm trying not to touch them. And it's pretty big. That one actually has some toe indentations going on. An arch indentation going on. Like something just bared down right there. Something big. But look at that. It's got like a three, a three toe look to it. I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments below what you think, you too. And there's another one over there. More over this way. But I would call that just a drag or a grouch. I don't know. Not like an actual track track. I'm seeing some ruffled up leaves. And this is all before I get to the spot. You can tell something come across here and stepped over like I'm doing. It slid. I don't know what that was. Like I said, I'm not sure myself what I saw. I saw a shape. A dark shape. Standing right there. I was about 50 yards away. Ruffled up leaves right here. Now, this is my first time in this area, and I'm taking you with me, you two. 
on this investigation. If I don't put this video up on YouTube, it'll make great personal archives. I have several of them. This would be about the area. There is a great big Russell spot right there. I'd hate to think that's a goddamn footprint. Because if it was, it'd be 20 fucking inches. Is that a footprint, YouTube? Oh my God, is that a footprint, YouTube? Jesus Christ, it looks like footprint here. And it looks like something pushed down there and rack it up. I don't know. Very interesting stuff, though. I'm glad I'm getting this on camera for future references. Yeah, that's just weird. And this back here is all messed up, too. Something's been around back here. And this is exactly where something was standing looking at me by that telephone pole about 50 yards away. Whew. No definitive footprints, though. Whatever it was went around these trees. And was right here. See, there's a bush right there that was probably blocking my best camera views. I really should get a big ass sensor light and put down here with the push button controls. There's a big scuffy mark. That's whatever it I, another one right here. Trees down. And YouTube, so that'll be about it. A quick look at whatever it was was here. Came this way. If you look right through here, there's a trail. that goes all the way down to this next set of woods, which is just big open woods. That goes all the way down to a swamp and a creek. You cross that and you're in the far, what we call the forest, deep woods. So it's easy for some things to venture out of the woods at night. Just steal your trash. To eat your garbage. To steal your pets, as the man who used to live here had three German shepherds get axe murdered in his backyard and half eaten. But who knows what. And he sold his house to a bunch of Mexican people. And the Mexican people come in and they had some very horrible night encounters from what I'm told. And they built a wall all around their property to keep whatever lurks in these woods at night out. But like I said, all that stopped around November of last year. And it's been quite a while since we've had any activity in this area whatsoever. But it's ironic that somebody who actually has looked for Bigfoot most of their life, I keep seeing a black shape down there on the edge of that fence. Hey, guess what? The daddy dad knows how to zoom in now. Right there, YouTube. Right through the little cross beams. You see that black shape? I don't... I'm not saying that's a Bigfoot. I'm not saying that's a dog man. I'm just saying there's something black down there moving around. I can see it a lot better with my, with my eyes than I can on this camera. There's a tree right where the triangle is, where the wood, back of that wooden fence. And to the left of the tree, I see something it moved around right there a while ago. And now I'm just seeing a tree shadow thingy, but I did see something move there, I'm pretty sure. May have actually caught that on camera. You never know. Well, anyway, this is Danny Staten on the Daddy Damn Blog. I doubt I'm going to make any more videos out here today. But I may grab my gun and take a walk down that way just to see what I can see. If I find anything interesting, I'll probably make a one-minute short or something or at least document it for the personal archives. As I walk back through this spot one more time, showing this big-ass thing here, which apparently that's a toe-like claw thing going on and a big foot-looking thing. Uh, 
but they said it was a big foot, I don't know. As I'm noticing like a three-toed structure, which is very weird. And it was housed like a wolf. And I'm thinking, my visitor might be a dog man. And I've heard about these in this area a lot. Well, I hope we give you a pretty good look at my little wooded area, which leads into a forest less than 100 yards away, and how things can come bump in the night over here. So this is Danny Staten saying, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for me. Whatever all that means. Matt Trossy told me to say that. Let's get this weird feeling today, boy. I guess after everything that happened last night, I'm a little bit jumpy. And a little bit like, wow. And I hope everybody got a chance to see the videos where the wolves hauling the night. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Because that's what really means a lot to me is what you think in the comments below. And until next time, this is Danny Staten on the Daily Dan blog saying blog over.